Hey everyone, this is Alex Cardinelli, and you are tuned in to the Alex's Adventures YouTube channel. Now, I have been getting several emails from you, my subscribers, asking about an update for my Saltwater Aquarium. A few of you have said it's been a while since you've seen a Saltwater Aquarium video by me on my channel, so I thought I'd provide you with an update. Now, originally, I was not going to do another video until I added some livestock. But due to popular demand by some of you subscribers, I feel that I should fill you in with an update. So it's been about four weeks now that I had my uh, saltwater aquarium up and running. And it's actually doing quite well. I had my water tested on Monday, and it's actually very, very well. Uh, the fish store said my water should be ready for fish in a matter of days. So that's great. My water is where it needs to be, but I'm waiting until I get paid to buy my first fish. So, my cycle is moving along. I have been ghost feeding my aquarium. I started like two or three weeks ago, and I've been ghost feeding every other day. And I've been doing really, really small water changes. So, I, I think that's what sped up my cycle, plus the fact that I used... Uh, Carob Sea Live Sand, and I also used uh, Microbacter 7, which actually provides a little bit of bacteria for a saltwater aquarium. So, with that being good news, I'm going to be ready to add my fish on Saturday. I'm going to go really slow, and I'm only going to add a few fish at a time. So, really, nothing has changed with the aquarium. Uh, over the last four weeks. Really all I did was add a black background and I just left the rock work the way it was. However, on Saturday, I am actually getting actual live rock. I'm getting rock that has living organisms on it because right now I currently just have the Carib Sea life rock, which is basically uh, base rock that they say has bacteria baked on it. And I have that in my tank now. But on Saturday, I'm going to be getting like 15 more pounds of live rock. Or maybe less, depending on how much I feel I should have. Because really, I've got about 19 pounds of the life rock. So I really only need about 7 or 8 more pounds of uh, rock if I wanted to just get by. But we'll see. We'll see how much the live rock is and how it looks. If it's expensive, I will get less. If it's a decent price, I will get more. But anyways, I'll be getting some live rock on Saturday. I'm also going to be getting my LED aquarium light for my saltwater aquarium. And I'll be getting my livestock. So the tank is moving along. Now, the first livestock I'm going to be adding to my aquarium, I am not exactly 100% sure yet. Uh, but... It might be, and most likely will be, a pair of Darwin clownfish, the black and white Ocellaris clowns, and maybe a pink-spotted Watchman goby. However, if the clownfish aren't available, it will just be a pink-spotted Watchman goby and a firefish. We'll see what the store has, but I intend to only add two or three fish with my first uh, livestock additions. And then next month, I'm going to start adding a little bit more fish and a few inverts. Now, I am currently uh, using some RODI water from a friend who lives on the same street as I do. So basically, I get free RODI water. And I don't tend to do that for very often. I tend to buy my own RODI system. But right now, I only use this water when I need to do water changes or uh, fill my tank, which is not, a, not very often. It's usually only once every two weeks. So, that's great. So, I hope that provides you with an update on my saltwater aquarium because there's really not much that I can talk about right now. Saturday, I do plan on having a lot of videos on this channel, uh, so stay tuned. Now, I'm expecting my good friend, Blue View Aquatics, 
uh, Josh Rodriguez to come over here and aquascape my tank with live rock, and he'll be providing me with the light. So stay tuned for a video for that if that does happen. I'm unsure at this point, but I think it will be happening. And also on Saturday, I'm going to have a video of the new fish entering the aquarium. Now, for whatever reason, if my water levels aren't, aren't good for a fish, what I will do is I will uh, purchase the fish, I'll pay for the fish, and have the fish or hold them until my water is good. But I think we should be good to go. Now, a lot of you have been asking me what my future is going to be on the freshwater side. Now, I know that I said that I was leaving the freshwater hobby, but, you know, I've been in the freshwater hobby for about, uh, let's say, 10 or 11 years, maybe more. But I've been in it for such a long time that if I decided to leave, I probably would uh, regret leaving. So, I figured I can enjoy a saltwater tank, but since I'm sharing the 120 with my brother now, I might as well get one or two freshwater fish. So on Saturday also, when I'm at the fish store, I'm going to check out the freshwater section and see if there's any freshwater species that I haven't had the opportunity to keep yet. Now, I was actually thinking about getting a red devil. Just have a, a single show fish in my 120. Have that be my one and only freshwater fish. He, he'll love the 122 himself. I don't know yet. The Red Devil was a kind of cool freshwater fish. Uh, my fish store also has a very large Frontosia that I was interested in. And they also had some uh, cool chocolate cichlids as well. So a shout out to School of Fish, Inc. I can't wait to go there on uh, Saturday, get my first saltwater fish, my equipment, the rest of the equipment I need, and some fish. Always love supporting my local businesses. Alright guys, sorry this was a very, very long video, uh, but I hope you guys got an update. Please, please listen to my podcast, American Variety Network, at blogtalkradio.com forward slash American Network. I've got some great things happening. I've got a very big guest coming on my show. I'm in the works of booking Carib C., as a guest, I'm speaking with the manager currently, and we are working out dates. Now, Carib C provides life rock, and they provide a lot of equipment for marine and reef hobbyists. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm also in talks with Instant Ocean, who provides marine and reef hobbyists with the best salt mix. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you like today's video, and subscribe to this channel. I'll be doing some more fish videos, especially once I get some saltwater livestock. I will do some more wrestling videos, and I will do some more videos for fun. You never know what to expect with good old Alex Cardinelli. Thank you for watching this video, and thank you for subscribing to my channel.